What was the most embarrassing moment in your life? When I was in the seventh grade, I got assigned a project with the most popular girl in school. This was my chance to become her best friend. I invited her over to my house and I thought we could chill before jumping into the project. I thought the best way to impress her would be to show her the dance I made to a song from the new J.Lo album. She sat on the couch while I performed. We did not become best friends. Many years ago, I was on a rickety old bus traveling across the Altiplano of Bolivia. I had a case of the runs and couldn't hold it in. I asked the driver to stop immediately and jumped off the bus. Without a tree in sight, I squatted next to the bus and literally shat out a gallon of SH. Once the relief left my body, I realized I had no toilet paper, like not even a freaking leaf. I glanced up to the gods and saw a busload of locals staring down at me with blank impatient faces. Fortunately, a woman took pity and from the window dropped a Kleenex down that fluttered about two feet in front. Like a penguin, pants to my knees, and shit still dripping from my arse, I shuffled over to it and held it tighter than I've ever held anything. After cleaning up best I could, I climbed back onto the bus, head bowed, took my seat and died. Both of my parents have had this problem with me and my twin sister. They had us at barely 20, and both look really good for their age. We would often get mistaken as four siblings, this happened a lot. But one time my mother and I were wandering around a Christmas market, my dad and sister were elsewhere, and we stopped to get some snacks. The guy serving us was really weird. He kept looking at us and was acting like he was in on some kind of joke. When my mom went to pay, he was finally like, so, what's going on here, then? My mom obviously had no idea what was going on, and the guy kept making more of these vague comments, getting more suggestive, until he was like, does your husband know about this, and actually nodded at me and winked. Finally, my mom realized what was going on and said, I should hope so, seems this is our son. In that same year, my dad and sister got into a taxi together and the driver was immediately like, who's this then? Your girlfriend, and my dad had to be like, this is my daughter. This was when my sister and I were 16, so our parents were almost 40. Even if it wasn't for the fact that we were related, this is still such a weird conversation opener. It's always baffled me why people care so much, especially the guy that was eyeing up my mom and me for ages. My theory with that is that he had assumed boyfriend and girlfriend, but was confused because I look a lot like my mom, but he had her marked as too old to be a sibling, but too young to be a parent. I have no idea, but it was weird. I was rehired at a job after six years and most people still there remembered me and was happy to see me back. Friday rolls around and someone goes, Dave, come by the break room. I wander in and there's this cake at the end of table and everyone is standing there. So I you say you guys and blow out the candle, not noticing it said happy birthday, Julie. When I was 12, I was watching a movie about someone visiting a loved one in prison. It was a conjugal visit. I didn't know what that meant since all that was really depicted was the visit. So, I boldly turned to my dad and said if he ever went to prison I'd have conjugal visits with him as well, he said. I wish you wouldn't and then laughed. Anyway. My mother liked to make ceramic dolls. She was part of a doll club in which fellow crafters would meet and discuss the craft and share ideas. My mom was on average 20 years younger than the majority of the club members. They would rotate hosting responsibilities. When my mother was hosting 20 or so mostly elderly women at our house, I walked into the space to greet our house guests. I was 17 years old at the time. While standing in the room saying hello, my younger brother grabbed my sweatpants and dropped them to my ankles. Boxer briefs in all. I was pantsed in front of the doll club. The full Monty. 30 something years later, I can vividly see their faces and reactions. I am scarred for life. Some kid and I agreed to wear tuxedos to the last day of middle school. I was too young slash stupid to realize he wasn't serious, so I convinced my mom to front the cost of renting a tuxedo which I spent the next several weeks paying off. I won an academic award that year too, so not only did I show up in a tuxedo, I had to go up in front of the whole school in the gym to accept the award. Oh god, it's gross and embarrassing. I was enlisting in the navy, I had to go for a drug test, the lady comes in the bathroom with you and watches you pee. I pulled down my pants and I had gotten my period, bad, it was all over. I was mortified. I asked the lady if she had a pad or tampon, she said no. I rolled up some toilet paper and stuck it in my underwear. The next thing we had to do was strip down to our bras and underwear, 15 females in the room, and do stretches, and bends, and duck walk, look it up. I had on bloody underwear with toilet paper stuffed in them. Everyone saw. Everyone thought I was gross. I wanted to die. Fell asleep on a plane one time. I had the owl seat. I did that thing where you jump in your dream and jerk myself awake. Only when I jumped my legs flew out and one of them flew into the aisle. I tripped the flight attendant and she went down like a ton of bricks. I sheepishly apologized to her but she was not happy at all. 
Everyone on the flight looked at me like I was the biggest bee on earth. The rest of the flight was terrible. I kept my head down and didn't make a peep. My very first ever parent-teacher conference for my daughter. My wife and I sat at one of the little tables the kids sit at with the teacher going over grades. She proceeds to tell us how well-mannered and polite our child is. She's a pleasure to teach, always helps the kids with no friends. As she's telling us this stuff I sneezed. And since we were at the little tables we were in the perfect squatty potty position. I sneezed and a tube came out. Little but loud cause of a hard plastic seat I was in. I looked at the teacher and she tried to act like she didn't hear it. I looked at my wife and she was beat red. I lost it. Fell the fuck out laughing. I asked to be excused so I could grow the F up and contain myself. After a couple seconds I came back in the classroom, made eye contact with my wife and fell out laughing again so hard I went straight to the car and waited. It was quite embarrassing more because it was a Catholic school and they get pretty strict on behavior. And here I am acting like a damn child who heard a fart for the first time. I don't know if embarrassing is quite the right word more awkward. In any case, in uni I had a stats prof who had a different picture of his grandkids as his laptop every single class session. He was a cool guy and clearly an awesome grandpa who loved those kids a lot and he would frequently talk about them. One class about 10 weeks into the semester he powered on his laptop and it was a picture of some random waterfall. I said to him in front of the class what's up man, your grandkids know they were replaced by some crappy waterfall. His response was I appreciate the levity, but my daughter had a mascara over the weekend and it's too painful to have a reminder of what was lost right now. Super awkward also the most quiet I have ever heard a classroom. Oh f, here we go. I don't even know why I'm sharing, but this is how I learned what jacking off meant. When I was in middle school there was this kid, Ben, that accused this other kid of jacking off, in a joking manner. This other kid was in the far back corner of the classroom, so I assumed this kid was just messing around and being a goofball. That's what I thought jacking off meant, messing around and being a goofball. Well, some time after that my mom woke me up for school and I didn't have any clean clothes to wear, but she said she had some in the laundry room so she went to fetch them. She was taking a while so I said, Mom, stop jacking off in there. The next few moments of my life are the most embarrassing moments of my life. My mom walks back to my room with a serious face on. She asks me, do you know what jacking off means? I said, yeah, being a goofball and messing around. She then proceeded to explain to me what it meant and I felt like the redness in my face could have lit up a small neighborhood. F embarrassing. In my freshman year of college I was smoking weed with some people I had met once or twice before and got way too high. Started getting really paranoid and anxious and decided to go back to my own dorm room before I had a complete panic attack. I thought the best excuse to get out of the situation without seeming like I had gotten too high was to stand up and announce I have to leave. I just cracked myself and walk out. After sobering up realized WTF I had just done and avoided those people for the rest of my time at that school. During the early days of courting, we had just finished having sex. We were all sweaty and had those post codal munchies. We went into the kitchen to prepare food. Our relationship was at that wonderful moment where everything was still new but we were gaining intimate trust. We had reached that huge milestone of farting in front of each other. We'd grown comfortable doing so and when we entered the kitchen in our sweaty glow I decided to let rip. I farted. Quite a small fart but with such pressure, I wanted to make her laugh that some poop flew out my naked butt and landed on the kitchen door. I looked at the poo. She looked at the poo. I closed the kitchen door in her face and grabbed the kitchen roll. Utterly horrified. Hearing her howling with laughter the other side of the door. Me with my shame. It's been 20 years and my wife reminds me of that shark almost every month. Love is bliss. We were studying in library with my friends when we heard this horrible off-tune siding from floor below and we started to joke about it for a while. After half an hour, one librarian came to say that it was mentally challenged kids concert organized by the library after hearing our joking. At the moment I was red as a fire truck and could just say that we are sorry about this. I will not ever forget that embarrassment. Luckily, I'm not that kind of person anymore. Me and my cousin found a couple of dildos in his parents' place and started using them in sword fights. We were swinging them wildly so no one seemed to notice what they were. My cousin was holding it by the balls while I did the other way round as if I was using a club and he knocked mine clean out of my hand right into the living room. My aunt shrieked loudly followed by the dog picking up and running away with it as a stick. When we finally caught the dog I asked my uncle what it was and he said it was a cake mold which made sense at that time. There were bite marks on it lol, the dog went to town on that one, dog had the habit of picking up anything we dropped and running until we caught it, rip floofy I still miss you. I was 11, wearing a sleeveless blouse in school. Some of the popular girls in my choir class were raising their arms and smiling. 
The one girl looks at me and says, We're having a competition to see who can lift their arms the highest. How about you? I obliged, and as one, the giggly hydra burst into a torrent of mocking laughter. I had never shaved my armpits before, I hadn't even considered the ablution until that moment. And now, here I was, in the middle of class with a wiry brush under each arm, crying in abhor with myself and my tormentors. Was taking a shit at a client's business. There was no toilet paper. After thinking for a second, I decided to carefully pull up my trousers and just walk to the ladies' toilet right next to the men's. As I came out I went to go into the ladies as a woman was walking to use it. She awkwardly asked, do you need to use this one? I simply replied there's no toilet paper next door. Instead of just grabbing a spare roll, I locked the door, wiped the mud out of my eye, and came out a minute later. Not in there long enough to pretend I did a full shit so it was obvious that while we had that exchange, I had a dirty body. A little later on, I walked into a room where this woman and two others were talking and as soon as they saw me, it went deathly silent. I think I was the talk of the office. When I was 11 or 12 I accidentally walked into the public swimming pool house completely naked. I had just left the pool to go take a shower and forgot to tell my friend something. So after dropping my shorts and stepping under the shower I decided to run back and tell him, utterly oblivious to the fact that I was now naked. There must have been 30 to 40 people starring and laughing at me. I wanted to die. Today it's a funny story lol. My pants fell down in the city hall parking lot while I was dashing for the Starbucks next door. I didn't notice at first and kept running until I felt something around my ankles. Mortified, I spent the 30 minutes before work cowering in the bathroom. Since I worked front desk in HR, and was new, I saw many city officials on a daily basis, many of whom visited that same Starbucks every morning. I flashed the mayor. I was 17 and working my first job, KFC, and that night I was working front counter. Being 17, I was high as giraffe pussy. This guy comes in and he places his order and midway through says to me, Sir, there is a large pair of women's panties behind you. I looked behind me and there was in fact, a large pair of women's panties behind me. The night before, I had washed my work uniform and some of our laundry had gotten mixed up and her underwear must have gotten stuck in my pant leg and I didn't notice. Instead of explaining this in a rational, logical way, I was so stoned I just kind of blurted out. Oh it's okay those are my moms. The look on this poor dude's face said he thought he was going to Kentucky Fried Chicken, but ended up in Alabama. I have many, because I am genuinely an awkward person. The topper though is when I was in university. I was heavy most of my life until my last year of university, being approximately 60 to 70 pounds overweight as a teen and young adult. Every once in a while I would get a whiff of this horrible smell during this one night class. Finally the smell was so overpowering I couldn't help but cover my nose as inconspicuously as I could. A very attractive girl I used to work with happened to be sitting in front of me, for what it's worth, it was a large lecture hall and she came into an open seating area after I had sat down. We talked for a moment. But since her and I had not really spoken much before it was a short conversation and she went back to her friends. I noticed her and her friend kept giving each other side eyes as this smell was getting stronger. Finally class let out and I left, finally free of the stench and I threw on my jacket, or so I thought. When I got home and took off my jacket I was hit with the same funk but super strongly. It turned out it was my own belly button funk. It was a kind of one day and I had hustled the class and I guess I had sweated into my navel and it just fermented. Along with that that I had never really consciously cleaned my navel before as I figure my body wash got it and why would it even need cleaning in the first place? The smell was putrid and I almost gagged when I realized that I thought it was my navel and put my finger in and smelled my finger after. After I lost my weight I haven't noticed it smelling as strongly. However, I do make a concerted effort to clean it almost daily to avoid that mortifying experience in the future. When hiking around a mangrove trail and fell completely fine, nearing the end and saw a public restroom thought ha oh, haven't peed in a bit and it's a bit of a drive home so why not got almost to the door and felt a rumble thinking it was just a fart trusted it and you can guess what happened and it was bad, really horribly bad. I ended up stripping my pants off and scrubbing myself and any other areas that got affected with paper towel and soap then tied up the bin bag, had my partner grab my towel from the car to make a makeshift skirt and left a I am so totally sorry I cannot apologize enough I'm seriously so sorry. I owe you the biggest apology in this life and the next few two note to the cleaner and legged it home to brood in my shame. I was 27 when this happened and my family will never let me live it down and my partner will use it in silly arguments to win. In second grade my classroom had its own bathroom and I was well, using it, and all of a sudden the door opens and I briefly saw my teacher standing there. She immediately shut the door and I hope none of my class saw me but when I walked out this girl said I saw your underwear. I saw your underwear. 10 years later and I still remember that and cringe every time I think about it.
The time I forgot to zip up my shorts after using the restroom at Panda Express, and when I went to order my food I was completely unaware that my D was poking through my boxers and shorts. The lady got a huge smile on her face when I told her my initial order. I was very confused by this reaction, but didn't think too much of it. About halfway through the order I felt a draft in my nether region and looked down to find my D exposed. I hastily put it back in, zipped my shorts and literally ran out of the restaurant. Haven't been back since. You'd think it was the moment I got absurdly drunk, was half naked in the bathtub and had a S dragon drawn on my back. Or you would think it was the time I got near blackout drunk and let my ex's family and friends stack pillows on me cause I was too tired to give a damn. Or you would think it was the time I S myself on the bus. Or maybe the time where I was caught loudly snoring in the middle of a lecture. No, none of it compares to the mortifying embarrassment of accidentally texting my mother nudes of me because my friend's number was one off from hers. I wanted to show off how perky my tits looked. I got a drug-fueled rant instead about how dare I send her this filth, and had every part of my body critiqued negatively. Never again. When I was in fourth grade, I wasn't watching where I was going and one leg went into a drain, in school, by the way, during lunch, so everyone was there. I panicked and in the straightest face one could manage in that situation, I pointed to the nearest kid. She happened to be a grade below me. In these exact words, I said, yo, you there. Who's your teacher? She shakily answered, um. Mr. Smith. I then replied, I know him. Then I wriggled my foot out of the drain and walked away, a la cool guys don't look at explosion style. Another contender would be in 7th grade when, on my way to the gym and passing by an 8th grade class, I thought it was a cool way to impress the seniors by Naruto running as I passed by them. All while screaming the phrase, I shield Najuchi. Yeah. Totally dumped on those seniors. Honorable mention, publicly posting screenshots from Yaoi manga I was reading on Facebook when I first got it in 2010. Where I am friends with parents, my then teachers, and other family members. Though it was not limited to screenshots, there were also badly drawn half-naked men with questionable anatomy. Edit, since you all enjoyed it so much, here are more tales. Growing up, I shared a room with my sister who was four years older, so we often accidentally exchanged clothes. I was in first grade getting ready for school, but could not for the life of me find my underwear. Logic at that young age convinced me it was alright to borrow my sister's underwear which, while very loose on me, I could still somehow keep them up from falling by just holding onto them, was wearing a skirt. It was all good up until recess. I got too excited on my way to play with my friends that some way, somehow, my underwear completely fell past my ankles and was left on the pavement on the playground. I played it cool and pretended it didn't happen and wasn't me even though everyone saw. So I ended up the rest of a school day going commando. Somehow, that isn't even the most embarrassing thing that happened that year so people never talked or bullied me. In second grade, while my sis was in sixth grade, she started using deodorant. I thought it was the coolest thing ever so when she wasn't around I'd use it too. No, it was not the spray kind. It was the roll-on kind. In third grade, I had a massive crush on a classmate who happened to be my friend's cousin. With my expert interrogation skills, I got his email for MSN Messenger. Went home and immediately added him and proceeded to message him, Hi, 3 who are you? Did you add me and how did you find my email he he underscore even though I was the one who added him first? Thought back then acting cool and nonchalant would draw him in. He never replied. During the orientation of 7th grade, one of the facilitators of the other group was a really cute senior in their last year of high school. Mind the age gap, I was 13 and he was 18. He was the star athlete and very popular so he immediately caught my eye. I added him and his friend, who I also had a crush on, on Facebook. Got so deep that I wrote a whole self-insert fanfiction about them in a complicated love triangle with me. Even probably showed my friends. On his last month of school, I wanted to confess but was too shy to do so. Wrote up a confession letter and somehow convinced my more extroverted friend to email it to his hotmail. We never heard back. Also in 7th grade, it was PE so the teacher made us do sit-ups with a partner. It was my turn to do the sit-up and I was partnered with a pretty girl in class. Okay, first sit-up. Fine. Second sit-up. I start to feel something was wrong. Third sit-up. Insert audible fart. Looking back, owning up to it would have been normal. But see, I was not normal. I stopped, pretended nothing happened, and asked her coolly, Yo, you count in? To which my partner stuttered a small yeah. Days passed by and I thought that maybe she didn't hear it or was nice enough to ignore it. Come the fate of day where while in class, a motorcycle passed by and let out an extremely loud revving sound. Then comes this comment, ha, ah, sounds like just Larry's fart. What about you? Tell us your story in comment section.
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel right now.